Welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Khan. We are continuing to follow developments out of Charleston, South Carolina, where nine people have died after a gunman opened fire during prayer services at a church. And of course, in New York, where two convicted killers are still on the loose nearly two weeks after escaping from prison. But right now, it's time for all of us to focus on some very uplifting stories in our impact segment, because I think we need it today. And we begin in Florida, where two young boys seen here rushed into a burning home and then saved the lives of an infant and a toddler. The boys admit they were scared, but say instinct just took over. I grabbed the infant and Isaiah grabbed the um, one and a half year old. It was really close to the babies, it's like, because it started by the couch. Aww. Firefighters arrived on the scene shortly after and saved another two children from inside the house. The cause of that fire is still unknown. We often hear about kids getting bullied via social media, but in Washington State, a high school valedictorian used the platform to honor his classmates. Connor Swab created an anonymous Instagram account and posted yearbook pictures of all of his classmates. That's 657 posts, along with a personalized, uplifting message for each and every one of them. What a nice act. In Ohio, staff members from Cincinnati's Children's Hospital helped a 19-year-old bedridden girl attend her high school prom. A team of doctors and nurses painted up her nails, curled up her hair, and dolled her up from head to toe. Natasha Starkey says she just wanted to be like Cinderella for a night, and she looks beautiful. And she might look like one of those ghosts from the Pac-Man video games, but this fist-sized creature is actually, isn't it cute? It's an octopus. And now scientists are thinking about naming it Adorableus because, well, she's adorable. It might also have something to do with the fact that they don't have a species designation for this very mysterious specimen. Beautiful. Isn't it cute? Did you see his little ear? <laughs> I don't know if cute it's is the adorable. right word, but very cool to see. Uh, you know, it's amazing the ocean here on Earth. We're still discovering new things all the time. I know. I love it. Very, very unique species down there sometimes at the bottom of the ocean. Some really great stories out there, including one of a young w uh, man, rather, who started a mobile barbershop biz uh, business for homeless veterans. Love this story. Nick Martinez is a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and founder of Cross Country Barber. He joined our very own Ed Berliner right here on Newsmax TV to talk about his mission. I'm giving somebody a little bit of time, a little bit of peace, uh, making them feel good about themselves and making them have a, a good uh, feeling about how they, they may look. So what is it that started the idea of a Cross Country Barber? Did you do this as a kid or? Uh, no, actually it started when I was in Iraq. When I was in Iraq on my first deployment, um, obviously going through certain events uh, made a lot of us have uh, hard times to be able to cope and, uh, you know, in, in a situation where we couldn't really shower or bathe sometimes, a uh, haircut was the closest thing next to being able to feel clean and also feel good about yourself. So uh, it was also something that was important to make sure that the guy stayed hygienic. So that's kind of where, you know, I'd, I had the ability to go from position to position to different bases because I was a communicator. So uh, making sure that the communications were up, I would take some time to let the guys use the phone and call back their parents and also, uh, you know, give them a quick haircut if I had the chance. I love him. that. So inspiring. He still looks like just a baby himself. Yeah, we don't talk enough about that uh, issue of homeless veterans in this country. Certain something that needs to be addressed. It definitely does. Hopefully some changes will take place in the VA because it has to in the VA. We want to know, um, we want to let you know, rather, that Newsmax TV is now available on film on dot TV in the news genre. If you haven't heard about this, you should really check it out. But before we go, we have a very special offer for our audience. Ask yourself, does your multivitamin really deliver the complete support your body needs? Multifaceted support for all your daily activities, targeted support for each of your vital body systems, superior ingredients for improved nutrient absorption. If your multivitamin doesn't do all these things for you in one simple daily dose, well, you're not taking the right multivitamin. Introducing Alpha 32, a comprehensive antioxidant-based multivitamin formulation developed by four expert physicians to optimally support your total health and well-being. 
The 32 ingredients in Alpha 32 support your body's overall well-being, including targeted support for immune, cardiovascular, bone, and circulatory health. Get a risk-free 30-day supply of Alpha 32 when you enroll in our convenient Smart Ship program. Just cover a small shipping and handling charge of $4.95. Learn how you can get your bottle today at tryalpha32.com. That's tryalpha32.com or call toll free at 877 777 2381. That's toll free at 877 777 2381 and get your risk free 30 day supply of Alpha 32 right now. And we want to remind everybody that uh, we have a poll going on right now on our website. We want to know who you would vote for for the Republican primary. There it is right there. Just go to NewsmaxPolls.com. We want to know who is your choice for the GOP's 2016 nominee. Hmm? We have quite a many to choose from. The list just keeps getting longer and longer, about a dozen right now. Anyway, we're going to have your global headlines coming up shortly after this.